how can you have a vehicle, a robot, driverless car, go out into the world and operate for a long period of time without needing any help from humans. And wanted to build something quite substantive in terms of a research presence here in the UK. I took a sabbatical to write the grant, wrote it and won it and it changed everything after that allowed me to engage in something that was way beyond what I would have been able to do if I'd been having a normal academic life, in that we built the UK's first driverless car and stuck it on the roads back in 2012. And, and since then, it's been a rocket ride. From that, we've got three sites now, we're exporting that technology around the world, and it's not just the cars, this is really interesting. We're running it in mines, we're running it in quarries, we're running it in ports, we're running it in fields, we're running it in warehouses, we're doing personal mobility, and even, we've got it on Mars. It's been a really extraordinary thing in the way that I went from the fundamental research and the time spent in doing that, starting a company, and then in the university have now started to grow the Oxford Robotics Institute. So that, that story, you know, continues from that foundational period. If you're considering going for a future leaders fellowship, do. Do it. It is going to change people's lives. It's going to be quite extraordinary into the opportunity that this technology will bring us.